guys welcome back to my channel so today is a little haul um, from multiple places the first thing is target i got some of these um bright room containers they're not a like, crystal clear plastic but they're clear at the top and then it's like kind of frosted right here um there's three different sizes so this is the i think five and a half and then there's one that's i think 13 inches wide or something or shoot i don't even know there's one that's bigger than this um and then there's these guys these are the i think 3.3 inches wide and i saw miss ida who is created to create here on youtube she just hauled some of these and some other things so i was like looking on the target website and got these littler ones um my scraps are normally in like a bag and that bag has lasted me years but i'm like you know what i need something more sturdy and I can put these on top of my these guys once it's all clean because I'm like destashing, but they'll go, you know, right here. Th three of them. So this is my cardstock, solid cardstock. This is specialty cardstock, glitter holographic acetate. And then in this bigger one, I think I might put my foam. My like big pieces from Hobby Lobby and stuff, because these are pretty big. Let's see. 13 by five and a half by and they're all nine and three fourths inches tall. So they can just line up, you know, like so next to each other. Then I got these guys, which I'm excited about. And they came in this box. They did a Target pickup, so it didn't ship to me. So they must have just had them brand new already in the package. So no fingerprints. Nobody's touched these, dropped these, nothing. So I'm excited. So it's literally just a clear, like a, like a little Alex cube. And then you have your little drawers. So I think these drawers, let's see, are... So the actual container is 12, ooh, see, 9 sixteenths. Like, I don't know what all that is, but um, 8 and 3 fourths inches tall. So I think, I'm pretty sure this will fit in your Calyx unit if you wanted to stick that in there. But what's the point when it already has its clear container? So let me take these little cardboard pieces out. So this thing, I got two of them. They're going to go, so my papers maybe I'll stack right here. And then this, these clear containers, I can either stick side by side or tall, I don't know. Like I'm gonna redo this whole area. So that's what I had in mind for these guys. But I like that they just like slide out nicely. Let's see. And then if and when you don't ever use them for that, you just have a clear cube. Um, this thing, if you can see right here, it has a lip. So you can definitely stack these on top of each other. There's stamps, all sorts of stuff in here. Um, I'm not using it for that, but I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. <laughs> Just make this stuff look nicer and put it in in these little bins that are gonna stack on top of it. I stacked them too high. I'm gonna take these little cardboard things out, but they definitely keep stacking. Like I said, there's a lip at the top and at the bottom of the container so that they do um, stack on each other. You can tell that they could potentially could warp if you stuck heavy stuff in these. So I would not stick dies in these. Ten out of ten, do not recommend sticking dies because it'll warp this this plastic acrylic piece but 15 bucks and it's not bad and i have these fun clear drawers uh this guy was seven dollars i think these guys were three dollars or five dollars or something i don't know my tort my total was like 50 something 52 dollars okay, so some other stuff i got is from the 99 cent store looking for halloween stuff because i saw vagabond crafter here on youtube she posted like new goodies that she got from her store but i didn't find those yet uh the little mummy containers but i saw these in the party section treat loot bags and you get five of them and they are 11 by 15 with a little handle these are great for group swaps when you like do all your whole thing that you're supposed to make and then instead of just sticking it in like a clear silo bag you can stick it in these fun ones and they had all of the colors um, they didn't have light pink, but they have like all the like primary and darkish looking colors. So I got the dark pink, 99 cents. And then I got this guy, this, they had a bunch of different like sayings on them. I mean, you can easily make this yourself, but by the time you buy the clear lights and put it together, but it lights up. So the cork is plastic. It's not like a real cork and it will be all strung, strung up in there. Once you undo this, you can just make it all loose and and whatnot but this will be fun for my fire mantle and that's right there so cute 
Next, I got this. They had, I think they had another color, I don't remember, but these were 99 cents. And these are great for the tear tray. Fluorescent orange with glitter. And look at it is narrow. So this won't take up your whole tear tray like a big fat pumpkin. And it's just very narrow and slim and slender. I like that. And then I got this. This is 99 cents. It's a pom-pom banner, so it alternates black and white. And then these little ghosties as well. So cute, right? For 99 cents. Very cutesy. Oh, which is like a great, great deal. I don't know what I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick them on my fire mental because I'm, I feel like I'm gonna do like a bright color theme this year. So these guys is a three pack for $1.49, um, which is weird. That other stuff is $1.99 and then this, which is three pieces of wood, not real wood, but you know, look at this. It's a solid one inch thick piece of wood. You could get these and gift these to your ghoul friends or have them as oh my gosh yes you could have them as name placards like if you had like a well i don't know it's pinterest who has a formal halloween party a dinner halloween dinner with their place uh like their names you could do vinyl and put their name on here and just to have them all across the table how stinking cute would that be so i'm probably just going to decorate these guys and put them oh he's ugly on this one um put them on my fire mantle and look at these colors these are a different shape um I don't think you know what I was so excited I don't even think I paid attention if there was another set with like maybe a black ghosty oh, and I didn't pay attention that there's defects on these oh I'll have to use this side so purple <gasps> okay good thing this side's good teal <laughs> I did not pay attention so pay attention because they do have um like defects on them and the light pink the ghosties I'm gonna put these on my fire mantle but again great for altering and a dollar 49 for three awesome price point they had a bunch of different colors they had a fun like color scheme like this but i didn't get it because my tear tray just stays like traditional um see a dollar 99 see like make it make sense this is a dollar 99 but then three thick things of these is a dollar 49 i don't know but has a cute little pumpkin at the end and these are small little beads probably half an inch bead so cute though. So next I got these. There's two different or two different ones that I saw. Decor on my mantle or something, but they are glass. They are pretty big. This one says poison. This one says toxic. Or for like happy mail, like crafting, I could have stuff like in these jars, even though I already have stuff in like little, little plastic ones and stuff. Um, but I do like these cute little, and they got little rubber feet. So those guys. Um, I got some press on, <laughs> like that, uh, like fake nail polish stuff. And then I got this guy, mini tape dispenser. This was in their craft section and they have a bunch of different colors. I had Christmas in mind. Use this for wrapping Christmas presents. Like how cute, a mini version of those big giant ones. I don't know about this 99 cent store tape, because we know how that goes. Okay, how do I... Weasel listen. I think it goes like this. What's this for? To feed up into this hole? Oh my gosh, I need a tutorial. Okay, well, it definitely needs some practice because look at the first round. I gouged my entire <laughs> cardboard. But I think this might work. Like I, like I said, I need some practice. I think I'm doing it right. You get a decent amount of tape. But I like the little holder. Super cute. Okay, here's it from the 99 cent store. Next, I got goodies from Sheen. And Mommy and her four little ladies, she showed me what she got. And I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. Um, they had some Halloween, like, I don't know what these are. They're plastic. Like laser printed plastic. And they're like spooky little... Pumpkin face charms. So you get a couple of those. Uh, next, I got these. Oh, these are cute. I don't even know what these are considered. And their price point is cheap, too. Okay, let's see here. Like, nothing like that. It's like Allie, you know? Oh, look how cute. It's a charm with black glitter hat. And then the pumpkin hate face, like, kind of swings on there. So cute. And then you got, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so ten of those. And I got these. Oh, these are earrings, but I'm totally going to take these apart 
because I figured, you know, sometimes charms like this, a pack of, what is this? Two, four, six, six charms was $2 probably. This was probably the same price point and you get six little charms because they have holes already on there because they're linked to each other. It is the McDonald's Halloween bucket. So you get the fluorescent yellow, which is the green witch, the pumpkin, and then the ghosty face. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. I should have got more. Should have got another pack, but so cute. I love those. Again, not for earrings. And then I got these guys, which are the lollipop from that scary movie um, with Sam. Sam holds it. Shoot, what's the name of the um, Halloween? Just look at this. Super fun black. And you get six of those fun lollipops. Okay, that is everything Halloween. Okay, so this is from the 99 cent store, just some footage. They had these cute little like felty baskets. Here's a cute little pink boo one. Lots of um, Halloween decor with some pink in it, which was shocking. Cute little signs, these little pumpkins, and then a little haunted house boo. These are repeats, those little pastel Halloween pumpkins, some plants, plates. Here's that colorful beads I was talking about. Um, little banners, paper banners, trick or treat, happy Halloween, colorful skeletons. These are cute. Um, if you put like on boxes, happy mailboxes, um, tablecloths and stuff, um, table decor. And then here's those wood things. Okay. I need to look if there was other colors. I think just the two. Yeah, there was just two colors. Um, they had like little pumpkins, uh, ghosty. She was stuck on like that pail, but a ghosty and then a cat face with big kawaii eyes, cute little tin pail and pastel colors, uh, trick or treat bags. I was trying to see if they had different, um, different designs. So they have like the witch and then this one is the stacked pumpkins with the cats. Here's a different style of the pumpkin with the cat. I love the lime green trick or treat, but I resisted because I have way too many. So I resisted those ones tablecloths so you can make uh that sewn ruffle stuff some more decor happy decor happy halloween truck some faux like little succulents and halloween colors they have this cute little glass what i thought would be cute for sequins but it has no bottom skull and bones bottles these little glass jars i almost knocked the lid off when i realized it was separate so like a little cookie jar pumpkin kitty cat and then like a skeleton these cute little banners. Here's a candy corn one. And then here is the ghosty one that I ended up getting. I just realized there's a purple design in the back. This one like for a party, like a little tray. These cute little ghosty kids with their trick or treat basket. They had lots of new masks. Like I had never seen any of these masks the previous years. So they are definitely getting way more new stuff than Dollar Tree got this year. There's a lot of repeat stuff. Like a lot of this is all I've seen something or something similar but um they do have way more new stuff than the dollar tree does for sure and they were unpacking all the boxes so i'm gonna have to come back in a couple days because i'm looking for these mummy thingies but this is like balloon arches and stuff some hanging decor fake spider rings um like candy buckets maybe leave at your front door the skeletons um they had these like a cat or I guess small dog pet beds, $9. Some more hanging like creature things for the tree. This fun broom, they had them in like um, three different colors. Cones for like kids playing, ghosty stuff. Um, some more little like light up stuff for your pumpkin. These you could probably take apart and put sequins in them. I'm not sure though. Um, they have like a little light in them in three different colors. Decorating face stuff. Um, these are chair back covers, but you could easily probably stick a pillow in there and then sew off the bottom of that. So I was like, oh, those are big enough. Um, here's some of the like cloth stuff, little ghosties, witch hats, like a linen material. Um, these little like, I don't know what those are, nutcracker looking things, some cups and bowls. So lots of empty space. So they are still, like I said, there was tons of boxes in the middle of the aisle that they are still undoing here's some little wood like potion bottle looking things here's those glass things with a bunch of different like this one's rats snakes 
Um, and then I got something else. I forgot. Here's little creepy crawlies and skeletons. Cute, like, look at, they have green cauldrons now. They didn't have those before. Um, lots of Day of the Dead, um, stuff. And then these are the ribbons, but I didn't get any. All right, bye guys.